Hi everyone, this is Karen from the Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. In this video, we're going to talk about something we uncovered here in our library. While doing some research for a patron here in our library, we uncovered claims that there uh, were rumors to have been an American Indian burial ground uh, located in the Jarrett Town area of Upper Dublin. It was believed that uh, the area in question was uh, located on Abner Spencer's estate. And uh, we decided to do a little digging into this claim to see if there was any historical basis that there was an uh, American Indian burial ground here. And this is what we uncovered. So from the records that uh, other researchers have done and provided to the Historical Society's library. Uh, it looks like there was a, a burial ground uh, drawn out on Abner Spencer's estate. However, there does not seem to be any documents uh, indicating that anyone was buried there. That doesn't mean necessarily that no one had ever been buried there, but uh, as of 2024, there's no headstones or anything like that. Uh, so we are not certain if it was ever used uh, or if maybe it was just a private family burial ground uh, that had been used uh, by the Spencers. Uh, we do know that uh, Spencer acquired the land in April 1844 by Isaac J. Whittacombe. Uh, and during that uh, transition of ownership, there are clear indications uh, of documented areas of where a burial ground had been uh, zoned. But other than that, there's no documents uh, regarding a cemetery at that s uh, spot, to the best of our knowledge. Uh, but there are several references in reference books like uh, Bean's History of Montgomery County saying that, yes, there was a private cemetery at that location. So this leads us all to... The wonder who actually established this cemetery. Uh, it was not mentioned in the actual deed for Abner Spencer, uh, either for the deed when he purchased the property or for the deed when he sold it. It's simply not mentioned. Uh, that leads us to believe that the zoning for that cemetery most likely happened when uh, Spencer owned the property. Uh, and that could easily indicate that it was used for his family. This is one of the most popular theories for this burial ground uh, because the previous owners uh, had their own cemetery at a different location. There were also rumors that it had possibly belonged to the Earnhardt family, but again, those are just rumors. There's no documents uh, for them either. And this is where we turn to the other very popular story regarding this cemetery, and that is that it is an American Indian burial ground. So we did some digging and we could not find any hard evidence that an American Indian tribe had been buried at this site. Uh, that does not necessarily disprove this legend, but it does uh, lead us to question why that legend started. Uh, and as of 2024, we don't honestly know. Unfortunately, our research did not uncover any real answers just yet regarding that. What we do know is that the folks who are rumored to have been buried there 
uh, are believed to be uh, Lenape. Uh, the Lenape Nation uh, is very prominent in this area, in our history, as well as still having uh, folks from that nation to this day still live in the area. And it's members of the Unami tribe, also known as the Turtle Clan, who would have been in that area of the county in the 1840s when this burial ground was established. So if there are uh, any American Indians buried there, it definitely would have been folks from the Lenape Nation. One thing that's important for uh, researchers and historians to know is that when we were researching this site, uh, we saw a lot of the times uh, they were referred to as the Mundok uh, Indians, but that actually is not the correct name. It was, in fact, the Lenape Nation, which led us to wonder why did they assign Mundok uh, to this group of people. And it turns out that allegedly... Uh, Mundok was an another name at the time for something known as trap rock. It's a specific type of rock that is found in that area of Upper Dublin. Mundok could have also come from uh, the word Monadinok, uh, which means a hill or rocky elevation on a plain that has been worn by erosion. Uh, and that phrase had been used in that area around that time. And it's possible that uh, Europeans who came to this area heard Monadinok and simply mispronounced it. And that's how you get Mundok. So those are some of the idea uh, suggestions as to where that name Mundok Indian came from, uh, but just note that that is not the correct term to use. So the property is still around to this day. Uh, obviously a lot has changed since 1844. Um, the property is now owned by uh, Jarrett Town Village Associates LP. Uh, it's currently a restaurant and uh, all of the area surrounding it is now suburbs and some trees. Uh, to this day, there's uh, still no visual indication that there is a cemetery at that property, but there's still a lot of locals who do stand by that, yes, somebody is buried there. So the question remains, was it a member of the Spencer family? Was it a member of the Ehrenhardt family? Is it folks from the Lenape Nation? Or someone else entirely or no one at all? Uh, hopefully one day we are able to answer this question. Uh, but what we do know is there was a section there that was designated to be a burial ground. Uh, and that does hold up in the historical databases. So hopefully one day we're able to figure this out. If you like these videos, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when a new video is released. The Historical Society of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania is a private nonprofit library and museum located in Norristown, Pennsylvania. We rely on the support of our patrons, volunteers, uh, members, and viewers like you. Your support allows us to continue making these videos so we can make history fun and exciting for the public. If you would like to donate to continue helping us make these videos, uh, you can do so by clicking the link in the description section below. This will take you to our main website where you can make a donation. Thank you so much for your support, and we look forward to seeing you in a future video.